One of the reasons why Google Drive has become such a popular option for schools is the ease with which you can share things between yourself and your colleagues and your students. Uh, one of the best ways, I think, to share uh, a, a large amount of things with your students or your colleagues is to share a folder, to create a shared folder. Uh, creating a shared folder allows you to have a, a set sharing setting on one folder and then it allows you to add more content to that folder over time and that content that you add inherits the sharing settings that that folder has. This could be great uh, if you have a whole bunch of spelling lists that you're going to be releasing throughout a school year. You put a link to a shared folder on your website and then as a spelling test gets or a spelling list I'm sorry gets released you add it to that folder and it then is shared with your class in this same exact way as the others. So uh, doing this is actually quite simple. Inside of Google Drive, um, any folder that I want to share, I just right click on it. And I'm going to select share from the menu that pops up. From here, um, I could enter the name of a specific person that I want to share this folder with if I want to. But for my purposes right now, I'm going to click on the advanced option. And what I can see from this is that my folder right now is private. I can only access myself. I'm the only person who can see it. And I want to change that click change. So here, what I want to do is make sure that anybody who has the link to this particular folder can see what's inside. So I'm going to click on the radio button next to on anyone with the link. And down below where it says access, I want to make sure it says can view only. So I could set this folder if I wanted to, to be can organize, add, and edit. That means people could add files to that folder. That means people could take files out of it, delete them, and edit the things that are inside. But of course, for my purposes right now, I just want them to be able to view only. I only want people to be able to view the files inside. They can't edit them. They can't delete them. Uh, they can't, well, necessarily uh, add anything of their own to that folder. Once it's all set, I click Save. And that's it. And I get a link to share all the way at the top, that link to share. That link I can quickly copy to my clipboard, and I can paste that onto my classroom website. I could paste that in a, an assignment or an announcement in Google Classroom. I could send that off as an email if I wanted to as well.